In this lesson, I will explain to you about accounts payable, that where you have to use accounts payable in the transactions. So here I have made few transactions for you, which we will discuss in order to make a concept of accounts payable. So see, when you buy something, when you purchase something, there are only two ways what to pay. One way is to pay only by cash and the other is by using credit. So simply you can take the example of a credit card here. We pay through cash or we pay by credit card. If you think that you are paying check or the debit card, both are considered as a cash. Right, so these are, in daily life you can see there are only two ways to pay whatever we purchase, we pay by cash or we pay by credit card. So we have to decide when we have to use accounts payable, which is our topic. So see here, here I have written 13, suppose it is May 13th, right? Okay. So purchase supplies of care of $700 in cash. You have purchased the supplies. So see, suppose you have already supplies of $300 and now you have purchased the supplies of $700 more. So total worth of the supplies is $1,000. It means your supplies are increasing. Here I will make, which I will erase later on debit and credit so our supplies are increasing and supplies is the asset account so as i have told you that assets increases on the debit side so here you have to write down supplies of 7000 and then we have to decide the credit each transaction as i have told you has at least two effects you cannot write down only supplies debit and then close no there should be a credit of this so for credit, you have to see how you have paid. There are only two ways, by cash or on credit. So if you pay by cash, so it means our cash is decreasing. And cash is the assets account. And if asset decreases, then we have to write down on the credit side. It means you have to write down here. And credit entry, credit account, you have to write down by using indentation. Means you do not have to write down here here so this is 700 so in this transaction we have paid by cash as i have told you there are only two methods cash or credit card and if you see in some books instead of this you can see paid 700 dollars for office supplies so both are the same accounts supplies and cash you have to use but our topic is accounts payable where we have to use accounts payable Purchase supplies of 700, same thing on 16th of May. There is no need to write down May again. So supplies, we will write down here again of 700, worth is 700. Now you have to see how you have paid. So cash or on credit. If it is credit, it means you have to pay after 30 days or 45 days. What is the term, right? So on credit, if you see the word purchased, Purchased on credit, it means the liability account you have to use. And this is the credit. Our liability increases. So when the liability increases, you have to write down on credit side. And liability has a normal balance of credit side. So here you have to write down 700. Right. So this is our topic. Where we have to use accounts payable. Normally students become confused. Where we have to use accounts payable and accounts receivable. So this lesson is on accounts payable. See the word purchased. When we purchase something, then you have on account, then you have to use supplies and accounts payable. Now our accounts payable, I will write down here, our liability is here, 700. In the next transaction, 19th of May, you have received, means paid for the supplies purchased on April 6th, means you have paid the amount here you have purchased something of supplies of $700 on credit but in the next transaction you are going to pay it means your liability is decreasing and here now we have liability on the credit side when you pay your credit card bill your liability decreases 
and when the liability decreases you have to write down on debit side which we have discussed in the last lessons so here see accounts payable will be debit of 700 now what should be credit let me erase this when you pay your liability when you pay simply you can say when you pay your credit card bill your cash decreases and your cash is an asset account but when it decreases you have to write down on the credit side so this is all about accounts payable only these two kinds of transaction you will see in accounts payable purchase something on account you have to create the liability account when you pay your bill liability will be debit and your cash your asset will decrease so you have to write down on the credit side so again keep in mind in our daily life there is only two ways to pay whatever we purchase by cash or by credit if we pay cash in the first entry we will write down cash in the credit side but if we pay on credit then you have to write down first this entry when you pay your bill then you have to make accounts payable debit and cash credit i hope everything is clear if any point is not clear you can ask me subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching